The Arishok has left me out of this action. I can't say I'm upset. Not going to happen. Well, you have certainly risen through the rank. Good for you. And the Evitz Maraud has escaped. Again. We sent for reinforcements. Andraste knows we've tried. Seamus, wasn't it? The Viscount's boy. You're here rather often, Sir Ahawk. A good influence, I think. Even by not taking sides, you helped start something. I still accept no blame for defending Kunari. And I don't miss the kinship of the people who oppose what I believe. You're determined to be a thorn in someone's side. Good for you. I'm the son of the Viscount. My actions are dissected no matter what I believe. I may as well try to do some good. If I offend, well, some people try very hard to be offended. There are other ways to see the world. The Kunari have shown me that. Another time, when things are better. How long do I have to wait? Today, sir. We'll need to give them answers by tomorrow, Captain. I'll have them. Dismissed. The Seneschal was particularly vocal. Dismissed. You'd think the Captain of the Guard could requisition a Templar or two, but no, that would be demeaning. Can't have them working for the people when Eternity needs a nanny. You had to know cleaning up this mess would be difficult. It's not the challenge, it's the unending part. And really, I blame you. You poured money into a pot that was already full. Everything has shifted. Good job validating the fears of every anti Ferelden and Kirkwall. I didn't realize I was making it worse by getting ahead. I'm just harassing you. Although you are a bit like the center of a hurricane. You've changed fortunes for many people, not always for the better. Sounds like you're spreading yourself pretty thin. There are a lot of people in my charge. Someone has to look out for them. You guard the guardsmen? I don't turn people loose like Jevon. There's additional training, doubled patrols. Costs are up, but I've halved injuries. I'll take it and argue with Seneschal Bran later. After the last captain, you couldn't have expected this to be easy. At least I had the guards on my side. Once they understood, they rallied. And those who didn't weren't fit to hold the crest. Stack friends against the enemies. I don't know if I came out ahead, but it's for the better. Grouse all you want, but the Aveline I know doesn't regret a second as captain. They'd have to drag me out of here. And I'm sure some are lining up to try. You among them, I bet. Haven't had much time to follow you around. Not that I need to. I can trust that you at least try to do right. I'm with you if you need me, Hawk. Just say the word.
Oh, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same. I was called to the keep on important business, Bodan. Yes. I was hoping to catch you before you arrived. Uh, there, there's a, a, a gentleman waiting at the mansion. He insists on seeing you. He says his name is Dougal. Your mother thought him wise, I tell you, Messiah. I paid Dougal years ago. Why would he be back now? He wouldn't tell me, I'm afraid. He refused to come back another day, even after I told him repeatedly that I didn't know when you would return. He doesn't really seem like the most reputable sort, I'm afraid, even for a dwarf. You left him alone in the mansion with Mother? My boy Sandal is with her. But, uh, you make a good point. I'll run back right away. Uh, before I go... May I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bodan. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the Deep Roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your business. Don't forget about your guest. Your mother claims he was iron the silverware. Did you see a couple of children causing a racket here? No? You're so successful with men. You're not that pretty. 
Cast a wide enough net and you're bound to catch something. <laughs> At least you're willing to admit it. Trust me. I've heard get away from me, you pirate hag, more times than I care to count. Doesn't that bother you? Why should it? They don't know me. I know me. if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. After everything that happened with Bethany, that's probably good thinking. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. Kirkwall needs me. If nothing else, you give this town respectability, my friend. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Isabella, you look well. Are you talking about the flush on my cheeks? It must be the whiskey. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. The search for this thing has consumed you. Let it go. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. You can count on me. Thanks. I appreciate it. If I learn anything new, you'll be the first to hear about it. That will, uh, stop the itch. Yes. Though I would stay away from women you meet in the port. Pirates tend to... dock in unsavory places. I heard that. Just use the salve if it comes back. Uh, excuse me. Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. The Templars are hunting you? Not me, specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. We haven't talked much recently. How have you been? Good. I just love what Knight Commander Meredith's done with the place. The curfews. The midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. Is that making it harder for you, with justice? In the Fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. 
and I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger has made of my friend. You chose to merge with him. Only you can make it work. I am trying. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've helped the mages here as best I can, but this impasse cannot last. One day, everyone in Kirk will, will have to choose a side. Incredibly talented, Meryl. I can see you were meant for great things. Thank you. But you're stupid. I'm sorry, what? Don't you think it would be better to work on where you are now, instead of recreating old glory? No, no, that's kind of the opposite of what I've been saying. I'm the stupid one. <clears throat> Whatever. Did you ever notice how cold the pavement is here? No? <clears throat> Just me. So the Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around again like you asked. Funny story. I'll pass, but thank you for the help. Spoil sport. Why you want to squat up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. So do I. Three years. There's still no sign of Daenerys. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. This is his mansion, isn't it? He must know you're here. Would you be surprised to learn that it isn't, in fact, his mansion? It belongs to a Tevinta merchant, one who has evidently given up on the place. Perhaps he is dead. Perhaps Daenerys killed him. Either way, if Daenerys is aware of my presence, he has done nothing. Isn't this what you wanted? Yes, but... Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? You start over. Isn't that what you want? I don't know how. My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. You don't know who you were? Fenris was the name Daenerys bestowed upon me, his little wolf. If I once had another name or a family, then they were taken from me. But again, this is not your concern. Your problems are my problems. Unlucky you. But enough. You have much to keep you busy, I'm certain.
there so are too I'm many refugees. I had trouble with another of your women, Isabella. She stole from a distracted client. You're lucky she wasn't jailed. My women? I am but a shepherd. And what free enterprise are you oppressing now? Theft is not enterprise. Opportunities insufficiently guarded. Victimless crimes. Except for all the victims. Details. Victimless details. May the Maker's gaze be... Forgive me, Your Grace. Not enough to ask forgiveness for a sin you committed in full knowledge. The Maker blessed him. I'm sorry. I'm not the one you wronged. I'm desperately trying to stay away. But the giggling. I thought it would end here. Young Master Hawk destroyed Flint Company. None remain. Yet, now that I know who sent them, it's harder to see their deaths as justice. Death is never justice. My... Hawk? We were just talking about you. Saying good things, I hope. Many people in Kirkwall have good things to say about you. I've learned who hired Flint Company. The Harrimans, a noble family of Kirkwall. They were my parents' allies. It's hard to believe they betrayed us like this. I think I've met Lord Harriman. Lord Harriman used to be a good man, but he became rather strange in his dotage. He died some years back. His daughter took over the family, Lady Johane Harriman. They say she's become quite reclusive of late. Any idea why they turned on you? Money? Power? It's hard to say. Lady Harriman was always jealous of my family for being royalty when hers were mere nobility. But I can't imagine that pushing her into outright murder. Is there any peaceful way to resolve this? If you treat the Harrimans like those mercenaries, you could start a war. Go carefully, Sebastian. I must speak with Lady Harriman and find out what drove her to this madness. But I am the last of my line. I should not go alone and make myself a target. If I'm standing beside you, that should make her think twice. Again, your interest in my plight humbles me. If you like, I can travel with you until you confront Lady Harriman. Otherwise, you can always find me here in the Chantry.
your armor is very shiny, Sebastian. Doesn't that make you an easier target? The light of the Maker is my armor, Meryl. I am not afraid. Maybe you could ask him to make his light less shiny? Then you wouldn't need as much armor. Strange. The door's wide open, and not a single guard posted. This is not the Lady Harriman I remember. There is something very wrong in here. of a bitch what's taking so long flora why does no one in this house care what i want more wine or i swear i will drown you in the dregs she doesn't even see us this is no normal wine More locks. It must be molten. You, more coins. I want every scrap of gold in this house. Please, Monsieur! There's nothing to fear. You'll be beautiful. Pour it over her. Don't! You'll kill her! He can't hear me. Be the one. We must end this madness. visited this house often as a child. They could not have concealed such goings on. Turn back. There is nothing here for you. We just want to know what's happening. You shall not enter. Empresses.
ruin. So close to High Town. I remember no such thing. In the shadows, four of them.
finish this! I don't want to do that. Must give me more. Starkhaven will not submit. I put that idiot Goran Vale into the Prince's sea, but the other families won't heed him. I must marry him to Flora and solidify our hold. But I need more power. I've given you much. Your desires run deep. You've already traded your husband and your children. What more can you offer? What bargain have you made? Who is this? Who are you? How did you get here? Sebastian! You were my mother's friend. How could you murder her? Such an ugly word. I prefer remove the only obstacle between her and her dreams. This was your idea. I could create such desires if I wished, but it's far easier to nurture those that already exist. The desire for power is easy to find. You and your friend both possess it, do you not? You both wish to rise. Not if it meant selling out my family. How loyal were your friends to you? Everyone has a price. Everyone wants something. Do not listen to her. Oh, such a pious soul. Masking so much ambition. Are you so different from my lady? You yearn for the same lands. The same power. I am the rightful heir. She is a usurper and murderer. You swore to put aside worldly goods and ambitions, but they couldn't stop you from wanting them. You'll be a good ruler. It doesn't matter what you do to get there. I'm not acting from ambition. I only want what's best for my people. For the people who'll adore you. 
All those smiles they used to save for your brother. Now you'll be the Shining Prince. All you have to do is kill anyone in your way. Silence, Temptress. Your whispers led our allies astray. You're the only one I must kill! Turn to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. Let us return to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's. Sebastian, I am so, so sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do, what those creatures made us do. We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. Did your mother order the attack on Sebastian's family? She did. You... You know mother, Sebastian. She was always jealous of your parents. The demon twisted that until it was all she could think of. She was determined to seize Starkhaven for herself. Was your mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made Mother too confident. She thought she could deal with the demon and not fall prey to it. Those ruins there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. Don't blame your mother. The Desire Demon made this happen. I doubt many people will be so forgiving. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not make up for what happened. No, that's true. I'll tell you when I need you. Good. Carry on. If 
your city was stolen, why didn't you just call the guards? I'm afraid the matter can't be handled by guards, Meryl. Aveline could help you. She's very good at making thieves give things back. I think it's because she's so tall. This is beyond even Aveline's power, I'm sorry to say. Are you sure? Have you seen her hit people? I can hear every word you're saying. You're related to the Amels now. I understand you are of noble birth. My father was a chevalier. He had to flee Orlais when his patron was murdered. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have been suited for the life of an Orlesian noblewoman anyway. But surely you wish it had been different? To be a lady of Orlais and not a city guardsman? Not for one moment. I'd rather kill a bandit and save a merchant's family than know the correct dance steps and which rouge is in fashion. I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demon's touch, but I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. You acted honorably. Why are you ashamed? The demon didn't lie. I used to be bitterly jealous of my brother. I wanted to be prince. Now everything he had is mine, and he lies in ashes. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right, or simply to have what I never thought I could? Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were... rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, and I was left in the cold. They put me in the Chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. You seem very dedicated to the Chantry. You were put there against your will? At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. I was a wild boy, a shame to my family. The Chantry made me a man. It's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. It's the wisdom not to want power that lets you use it wisely. You didn't feel what that demon stirred in me. It cannot be right to lead any army to Starkhaven with such doubt in my heart. I owe you more than I can say, Hawk. I will offer my service to you here before I move on. If you want to help me, do it because we're friends. There's no debt between us. You have a good soul, Hawk. It was truly the Maker who led you to me. <laughs> 